Hi, how's everybody doing today? Uh, Clint the Audio Guy here, back with some more audio goodness for you. Uh, this time I am showing a new product from Totem Acoustic. Uh, this is their their Kin Minis and their Kin Subwoofer. Uh, this is a product I've been looking at for some time now, and I finally got a chance to hear them, and they're amazing. So, uh, so I wanted to show them to you because I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, this is the kind of product that, uh, you know, you don't have to have $20,000 to have a satisfying audio system or $10,000 or even $5,000. Uh, if you want a hi-fi system and you've got $1,200 to spend on speakers, this right now is about number one for my choices for that. So, uh, you get the pair of satellites and then you get the subwoofer and you have full range sound down to 29 hertz and it's powerful sound, powerful bass and everything. Uh, and uh, extension up to 40,000 hertz um, with the, the satellites. Uh, the sound stage is phenomenal, the impact is phenomenal because of the subwoofer providing, you know, subwoofers providing all the impact there. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's perfectly musically satisfying system. Um, uh, Vince from uh, Totem calls this the anti-sound bar because it can replace uh, you know, a lot of sound bars. Sound bars have become extremely popular. People, a lot of people, don't want to deal with a full surround system, and uh, so they're adding a sound bar to the TV because everybody knows flat panel TVs have absolute junk for sound systems built in uh, because they're so thin they can't fit anything in there. Uh, so this is a good alternative to a sound bar, but it's also a great alternative to a hi-fi speaker system, really, an entry entry level hi-fi. So. Uh, this is the satellite here, the Kin Minis. Uh, they're using a uh, phenolic honeycomb sandwich uh, for the cones, four inch woofer. Uh, we've got a three quarter inch uh, textile dome tweeter um, or silk dome. I always like the, the silk domes, they have a nice smooth response to them. Uh, they, do, they don't get uh, fatiguing sounding. Uh, they use a three quarter inch tweeter because it has great off axis. Um, great off-axis performance and uh, you can tell when you take the speaker and during the demo they take the speaker and they turn it 90 degrees to you so it's it's like this and the other speakers facing forward and the sound stage does not collapse it's pretty it's pretty amazing actually um, and then they take the speaker and they turn it all the way down to face the back wall and it's like wow I'm still getting an image there uh, that's that's pretty amazing but uh, uh, you know, it's a it's a phenomenal design, and uh, I can't say I can't say too much about it. Uh, the I bought a set myself, so <laughs> um, I have my choice of really just about anything in the audio industry. I, I'm not I'm not bragging, but I, I do this for a living, so I can have just about whatever uh, within reason. You know, I've got budgets uh, myself, but. Um, so if I buy it, you know it's it's a great product because I've heard just about everything. Um, we've got aluminum feet and they've got a little rubber on the bottom so they stick really securely to a rack. Uh, on the back, it's actually bi-wireable or bi-ampable, which is kind of funny for such a small speaker, but you have that option. They have some fantastic bi-wire cables that they sell for them too. Uh, it is rear ported. There's also a threaded insert here on the back for wall mounting. Uh, the feet do not come mounted, so if you have an application where you want to wall mount it, you just don't have, you know, don't put the feet on. Uh, there are magnetic grills as well, and uh, there's no grill bosses. I love that. The new magnetic, uh, well, in the past, you know, I don't know, three years, magnetic grills have become a lot more popular. Uh, they just stick right on the front. When you take them off, it looks like it was meant to not have a grill uh, because it doesn't have the grill posts on there, so that's always a great thing. Um, unlike a lot of the totem speakers in the past, uh, these all come with grills. So um, right from the factory, the grills are white um, on the white models, black on the black models. So um, so you can fit it into your decor however you like. I want to show you the back of the subwoofer uh, because it is a fully featured sub. You know, it's a really tiny sub, but it's got everything you need in a subwoofer. Uh, so we've got the crossover here. We've got the phase angle. Uh, we have the gain or volume. Uh, you have uh, three ways to turn it, well, two ways to turn it on, I guess. You've got an on and off switch. You can turn it on, you can turn it off, or you can put it in uh, auto mode where it just senses the 
signal coming in and turns itself on and off, uh, which is the way most people are going to use it, I think. Uh, you have inputs, and not just, not just a low-frequency uh, effects channel input. You've got stereo inputs. You've got stereo outputs. So if you need to loop it out to another sub, you can certainly do that if you want to add another sub. Uh, the, you've also got high level ins and outs, which you don't see as much uh, nowadays on subwoofers because uh, everybody's trying to cut costs, uh, but Totem gives you all the features still. So if you're pairing this with a stereo and you don't have a low frequency effects out or a subwoofer output, you can run speaker level into here. It extracts the signal right off the speaker level, and uh, you know you can add a bass to, you know you can add bass augmentation to anything. Uh, and then of course your hard power switch down here for ultimate cut, and then you've got your voltage selection for U.S. or European standards. Just to give you a better idea of size here, I want to show you this. Uh, this is the Totem Dreamcatcher, uh, fantastic bookshelf on its own. Uh, if you weren't going to be pairing it with a sub, I would suggest a Dreamcatcher if you still wanted something really small instead of the uh, Kin. Uh, the Kin really cuts off at around 90 hertz, so the subwoofer takes the bass from there down. Uh, the, uh, uh, the Dreamcatcher goes a bit lower than that. Uh, but you can see the size relationship here. This is a tiny bookshelf speaker, very tiny. Um, and you can see how much smaller the, the Kin Mini is. Uh, both the same size woofer, of course, are different materials, uh, different tweeters altogether. Um, if, uh, if you want to go the subwoofer route or you want something just over $1,000 to, uh, uh, to play, uh, I think the Kin Mini is a, a better system. Uh, but if you just want the bookshelves themselves, I say try the Dream Catchers out. Gonna, you're going to get a little full range sound out of these by themselves. But anyway. That gives you a good comparison there. Anyway, thanks everybody for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And uh, give these things a listen, you know. Uh, they're, they're tops on my recommendations at their price point. So uh, give them a listen and you won't be disappointed. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.